Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about the gravitational potential. So, what is meant by this gravitational potential? See, uh, the definition of gravitational potential is like this. It is the amount of work done in bringing a unit mass from infinity to a point in the gravitational field. That means, it is done on the a unit mass. How the work is done here? To bring that unit mass into the uh, a point from infinity distance to a point in the gravitational field. So, for that, you consider a point in the gravitational field. This is a point P on the gravitational field and this is a, also a point infinity in the gravitational field. So I am considering a small mass, a small mass at infinity in the gravitational field. So we have to bring the work done to bring this small mass to this point, to this point in the gravitational field is called as gravitational potential so as we are saying uh, gravitational potential definitely there would be a mass so this is a mass a bigger mass for this mass it is having a field around it so from the center of the mass up to this point p the distance is r and from point p to this x uh, sorry infinity the total distance i am considering it as x so x is the, the total distance from the center of the mass to the infinite distance where the small mass is located so now I am considering another point here as A. First let us consider this point mass is brought from this infinite distance to this point A. So to bring this small mass from infinite distance to point A, we have to do the work. See one, one thing what we have to remember is these all points are in gravitational field. And that gravitational field, if you just touch this small mass, it will move itself. The small mass will move itself. And here one more thing is, there is potential difference between these two points. That means point A and infinity. What is the potential difference there? Potential, here this is the initial one and this is the final one. So, potential at point A minus potential at point infinity. So, VA minus V infinity is equal to what we are doing here. We are doing some work and the work is done from infinity to A. Where we are doing this uh, uh, work on a mass M. Yeah. So, work done on a unit mass that is called gravitational potential and here the work done on a unit mass here I am considering a small distance from infinity to point A. So this is the potential difference between those two points. Here actually the work done there will be some forces on this small mass. The gravitational force will act in this direction and the external force that we have to apply to move the mass that external force will act in this direction external force will act in this direction that means what happens is if you slightly touch also this mass will attract towards the capital mass as we have discussed in uh, our first video 
the force of attraction between two masses is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so what we have to do is we have to apply force in this direction the external force will be in this direction and the gravitational force will be in this direction and as this small mass is moving in this direction as we are applying force in in this direction but the small mass is moving towards this big mass so the work done by us will be negative here so that's why gravitational potential is always negative so that's why we will see a negative sign there gravitational potential v equal to minus gm by r we will see like this here the minus sign why we are keeping a minus sign means the work done by the external force is negative so whenever we are doing a work in the gravitational field uh, the work will be negative so due to that a minus is here and now our aim is to bring this uh, mass which is at infinite distance to this point p see uh, i am considering this distance this is very small distance no so this is dx so the work done to bring this point mass from infinity to a is small work dw equal to f dot dx and so dw this can be written as we know that the force acting on the mass is gravitational force f equal to g capital m small m by r square so instead of f we can write here capital g capital m small m by r square into dx so this is the work done on this point mass to bring from infinity to a and here one more thing is to bring this mass from infinity to p what we have to do for that we have to place a integral we have to integrate it by integrating we can have a equation and here the work done dw equal to g mm by and placing it as x square as it is a total distance is x and now to bring this point mass to p what we have to do is we have to integrate so integral of from where to where we are taking the point mass from infinity to distance r so integral infinity to r dw equal to integral of infinity to r g capital m small m by x square dx and now so we will get bring this uh, g uh, as this g mm is constant bring this outside g capital m small m integral of uh, infinity to r dx by x square and this can be written as in g capital m small m integral of infinity to r this can be written as x power minus 2 into dx see and uh, in integration we had a formula that integral of x power and dx equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so if you apply this formula here we will get capital g small capital m small m and if you apply this we will get x power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 here n is minus 2 no so that's why and this is limits are from infinity to r and so we will get capital g capital m small m x power minus 2 plus 1 means x power minus 1 by minus 1 infinity to r so this can be written as 
as this is minus, we'll have minus here, minus G capital M small m, and this can x power minus 1 can be written as 1 by x, infinity to R. So, if we apply these uh, uh, limits, what will happen is minus G capital M small m, first we have to apply the upper limit, upper limit is 1 by R, and here uh, down one is, I mean lower limit is infinity. So 1 by R minus 1 by infinity. So here we will get, uh, if you take out the brackets, we will get minus capital G capital M by R uh, and this minus into minus plus and 1 by infinity is nothing but 0. That means uh, 1 by any big one will get 0. So this is 0. That means work done on this small mass to bring it from infinity to point P, W is equal to minus capital G capital M, so small m by R. So this is the work done to bring the small mass from infinity to point P. But we want here, what is the gravitational potential at the point P. So the gravitational potential V equal to, V equal to, see here the work done is, work done is minus capital G capital M small m by R and potential no so mass also will come so the small m and small m will cancel so the gravitational potential at the point p on the mass which is acting is minus capital g capital m by r so this is the gravitational potential which is acting on the point mass at point p so to bring a point mass from infinite distance to P, we are doing some external work and that external work is negative. Reason is the force we are applying is in this direction, but the displacement and the movement of the small mass is in opposite direction. Mm. So when we are applying a force on any body in one direction and the body is moving in opposite direction, then the work done will be negative.